years ago, I quit my job and became a full-time content creator on YouTube along with some of the other businesses I started from my YouTube channels. And today I'm gonna share how the last two years have been, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and let you guys know where I'm going from here with my channels and the future of this business. So let's get started and talk about what we've been doing for the last two years and whether or not it was a good decision to quit my job two years ago. No, 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 let's not even go there. It was a great decision to quit my job. I did not love that job. I was not passionate about it. It had changed so much. I was miserable. And even at the lowest of lows over the last two years, I'm still way happier and way above where I was at the highest of highs at that job, which is crazy to think about, but it's really been amazing and it's been so much better for me personally so let's not even pretend that it was a bad decision. No regrets, tattoo it on my forehead, no regrets. I really have zero regrets leaving that job other than maybe missing some of my coworkers who I really did love. But honestly, two years later, no regrets. So let's talk about why it's been such a good decision. First of all, the good thing, I have so much more time with my kids. I am more involved in their lives. I spend more days per week with them, I get them early on the days that they do go to childcare, do go to preschool. I have so much more time with them. I do so many more activities with them. I do not have to drop them off anymore at like 6.30 and pick them up at six o'clock at night, which was a misery of its own for me personally. I am not a full-time stay-at-home mom. I do not have them all the time. They do go to preschool. They do go have time with their cousins and grandparents and they are out of the house so I can work and build my business. But even with that, I have so much more time with them. It feels like I really get to spend their childhood with them and enjoy them in a way that I didn't before with my nine to five job. And that has been worth it beyond anything else because these years are so fun and they change so much day to day that if I was still working that nine to five and trying to side hustle and use all my energy for that, I would have missed so much. And that has been amazing. Beyond just the time with my kids, it has given me time flexibility for things that I need as well. It gave me the option to start working out during the day. It gave me the option to kind of move my schedule around when I needed to, when I went through some health issues. I had some major health issues after quitting my job. I definitely should have quit sooner because I kind of burned out and had a lot of like health repercussions from the stress of that period. So I wish I had done it sooner, to be honest, but I didn't do that. Um, but having this kind of business, having this kind of work as my career has allowed me to be more flexible, to set my own schedule, to kind of give me the freedom to do the things I need to do when I need to do them. Another great thing I've loved over the last few years is the creative freedom that I have. I am able to try new things. I'm able to try different types of videos. I'm able to try new platforms, to try new styles of content. I have so much freedom in the way that I get to express my ideas and share my ideas and teach other people that has been really, really, really satisfying for me because before I was literally in a job where I had to do things a very certain way based on other people's ideas and they hardly ever matched up to how I thought or wanted to do things and that friction is gone and there's no more someone telling me what to do when they are making the wrong choice. So I love that. I have complete control and freedom over the work I do, the things that I get to try, the things that I get to create. And that has been really satisfying as well. And the last great thing about the specific work that I do is that I feel like I've helped so many more people in the last two years than I ever did with my other jobs. I get a lot of comments from people telling me that they were helped by my content, that something touched them, so that something honestly saved their life or helped them prepare for a future that they didn't know they could have. And those things are like mind blowing when I think about it, when I think about the fact that I can create content here in my home, share it online, share it on YouTube, and it helps change or improve someone else's life. Like if I think too much about it, it blows my mind because that's amazing. And it's incredibly satisfying and has been one of the highlights of the past year. I sometimes will take screenshots of those comments and kind of put them in a file so that I can see, I can kind of just scroll back and see how many people have told me that something I've done 
has improved their lives or helped them or changed their lives. And that feeling of helping people is why I wanted to do this because I felt like I could help more people in this kind of role than I ever would have before. And that is definitely a thing that in my life I find fulfillment in and that's been amazing over the last two years. So now let's talk about the bad parts because of course every decision that you make in life has some good and some bad usually. There's very rarely something that you decide to do that's all good. So there have been some bad things about quitting my job and working full time as a YouTube content creator. And one of those is that it's kind of lonely, kind of isolating. I'm here by myself, no one else is home. I'm alone for a good chunk of my work week. I do go work at other people's houses sometimes. I go work at coffee shops and I do obviously see my family every single day and then our weekends are very busy. So I'm not like completely isolated, but if I was single doing this alone, it would never have worked out. I would have been miserable. I am able now to appreciate the alone time to work on the things that I have, but even with that perspective, sometimes I can get too lonely and kind of feel sad about being in this kind of role and not having a team around me. So that is definitely something that has been at times in the past year, kind of depends on the time, been something that I haven't liked. But that's okay because that's the nature of YouTube and I also sometimes appreciate it. Okay, financially, eh, it's been hit or miss. Some months I've done well, but overall it's definitely been a downtrend in my income. The reason for that is because I didn't work. Um, I've been out of that job for about two years and for about a year I really only did one video a week and only transfer Tuesday videos because that's all I could manage. And that's not enough to sustain a growing business. So I kind of plateaued at a certain spot and then didn't keep growing. And I know why, and I definitely know what caused it and kind of how to fix it, but I haven't exited that phase yet. So I'm making less money than I used to. And that of course is really depressing when you realize that the cost of everything outside is just gone way up and you're making less money. So that's been a bit of a bad part about it. So I did trade off, you know, paying extra for childcare as well. So it's not really made that much of a difference in our budget because we are paying less in childcare and I'm making less. So we're, we have less expenses, but I also have less income. So we're kind of even there, but when I quit, my expectations were to make a ton of money to double, double my income. And while that is possible, and I did do it for a few months in the beginning, I have not been doing that specifically for like a year or so, kind of in the middle of the two years that I've been off of that job. But great news is that I know it's because I work less, so if I work more and dedicate more time to my business, it will grow. So that is one of the great things about this particular field is that you can put more time and more effort into it and see results relatively quickly. So I'm actually at a phase now where I'm planning to ramp up my efforts and hopefully get back to a place that is financially amazing for our family, especially as my daughter goes to school full time and we move into a new phase of life. So the last two bad things are kind of more personality traits. And the first is that I'm in charge of all decisions, which is funny because this was actually on the good part too, because I'm in charge of everything that I create. But on the flip side, I'm also in charge of everything. I'm in charge of every decision. I'm in charge of deciding to hire and fire freelancers. I'm in charge of deciding what to make. And if it flops, that's on me. I'm in charge of every single decision. And sometimes that can be overwhelming. Sometimes that can get to me. Sometimes I wish I had more sounding boards and more people to kind of play the ideas off of and talk about, but right now I don't. So I'm in charge of all decisions and sometimes that's a bad thing, but you know, sometimes that's life. Uh, so the last one is similar and it's definitely personality based because this doesn't affect everyone, but shiny object syndrome is one of my downfalls. I am in love with the idea of new ideas and I'm in love with the idea of potential, things that could be amazing, things that could make money, things that could help other people. I love ideas and sometimes that can be my downfall because I will start too many new things. And whereas I have one channel, one business, I will go start another channel and then another one and then I'll try a new platform and it's just too much. And in the last year or so, I have recognized that and I am trying to downsize or stop doing it. Um, I like having a little side hustle creative outlet, but I'm trying to limit it to like one or two, not six 
So that definitely is something that has been rough and also diverted my ability to kind of scale income. So my income hasn't gone up like a rocket ship because it's kind of like, I'll go up then I'll be like, oh, shiny thing, oh, down, oh, okay, it's going up, oh, ooh, a new shiny yeah. thing. So it's a lot of that happening, which is not great. <laughs> and definitely some days I think I need someone to keep me on track because I do have that creative brain that loves ideas and likes to think of new things and likes to do new things. And I honestly need someone that's not like that, that's very organized and be like, okay, no, Mary, you've committed to this. This is your idea. This is what you want to do. This is what you've told me is most important. This is what you're doing. And just tell me that and remind me. And then I do that. <laughs> so I haven't really hired anyone like that, but I am thinking more and more and more that I need that. So let's move on to something related to that and talk about where we're going from here. So it's been two years. Some things have been amazing, especially for my personal life and for my family life. Some things have been amazing, but financially and professionally, I feel like I have stalled and we need to change things up and that might involve hiring people. So I'm considering a few different things. I'm considering, do I want to grow? Do I want to hire a team? Do I want more than just the occasional editor and freelancer? Do I want to build a team? Because I know the things I'm doing are helping people and that's amazing and fulfilling. And I know the things I am doing could earn more money. So do I want to bring in help to help keep me on task and to also help grow this? Maybe. I'm still undecided on that, but that is potentially a route that I'm going. And then the next thing is building better routines and systems, which I have not done over the last year because I've kind of been more focused on family life. But now as we transition to a different phase of life and I am committed to working on this more, working on my business and growing it, I want better routines specifically for when I work, how I work and all of that. And that's something that I'm gonna be focusing on for the second half of this year. And then I'm also gonna be working on building kind of masterminds and groups around me so that I am not so isolated and alone, so that I have sounding boards for my decisions, so that I have people that are with me as I work from home as I work on something that's not involving other people as well. So I'm considering basically both having some like masterminds with people that are also YouTube creators, but also potentially kind of starting my own mastermind that is maybe a paid one where it's like, you know, like seven, 17, 10, five, I don't know, some small amount of money per month where I do like a weekly co-working session or a weekly call or something like that where I am, not necessarily the expert, but I am with people and we are all doing it together, but I provide the kind of time and platform and all that. So just a thought that I've had, cause that's something that I personally need. So it's kind of a thought that like, if I do that, that could help me, but it could also help other people. So it's an idea, but what did we just say? I have a lot of ideas. So that's kind of how my brain works. I have all these ideas of what I would like to do, but in my current state, they've not all gotten fully fleshed out. They've not all been implemented. They aren't actually coming to fruition. So I'm kind of at the point where I quit my job. Two years has gone by. I have a two year old child. I basically quit a little bit after I had to go back from maternity leave with my last child. He is now over two years old and I'm ready to ramp up the professional side of my life because my personal life has been going so well. Things are so good. My kids are amazing. They're healthy. They're doing well. And I think it's time to basically take this self-employment life and turn it into a giant business. So that's kind of where I'm at after two years. I am so glad I quit my job. I'm so glad I was able to focus on both my family and kind of have the creative freedom, flexibility, and all of it that I needed during that two year period. So we're definitely at a turning point once again. It was a turning point two years ago and it's a turning point now. I am ready to take that corner, to make that turn, and to just explode what I'm doing because I think it's, I think it's time. So I'm really excited about the future and thank you so much for listening to this ramble. I'm actually not sure what even channel I'm gonna post this on because it's all about my business, but it's also about my personal life. So we'll see. If you watched this far, I'm amazed by you and I appreciate you so much for being, for being part of my journey. This has been an amazing part of my life and I'm so grateful for you. 
If you watch this far, I typed in below, you've got this because I say that to people all the time. I type that more than anything else I write in comments because I'm always trying to encourage other people and I would love to see it in my comments and I would love for you to write it down below to me, to others, to anyone you ever see because we've all got this and whether you're trying to be self-employed or not, you've got this. So whether you're also self-employed or not, you've got this, you are doing amazing and I'm proud of you. Thank you for being part of my journey. And then let me know which direction you think I should go with my business. If you have ideas or if there's content you wanna see from me, let me know down below because I am very open to directions from you guys because you're my audience. You're my amazing, amazing community and I love you guys. So let me know what you think down below. You've got this. I will see you in a year or two for another update.